Just got done treating some beans. Last box is gonna get playing in Indiana for a little bit. Jay's got all those bags put in the pro boxes. That's gonna hey, suck. Hi boys, I got her. Dad's cranking away. I'm gonna catch a ride with him. So I can move my tractor back and won't have my truck over there. I'm done. I'm done, Indiana. You're how much you got left? Not much. Uh 120 uh well 180 acres for now. Have you been documenting your uh week? Yes I have. Okay, okay. <laughs> Just so you then you know. You know. Alright, drop me off. Road tripping. Crossing back into Illinois. Going over the Wabash River again. It's a red skeleton bridge. Right by Vincennes, Indiana on US 50. shower on the radar this morning wet here hopefully it went south of where we're going flat rocks too wet which is where i'm planning on going keep going north to rocks and so surely uh surely we can find something dry let's have to see where the rain quit just a little spot i guess that's all not me all right making her looks like she's dry i was starting to wonder hey phil there's your house I was starting to wonder, a quarter mile south of here, way too wet. I was like, man, wet. The rain was close. More chances, this afternoon's a big chance. So. Do what we can do and uh, see what happens. I think I left a little after seven. This tractor's fast. Shut her down. My ride's here. Take me back to the main farm to get my truck and tender. Okay, made it back to the farm. Tender's back there. Hook up to it a little bit. Uh, yeah, these were supposed to come in a box. They didn't, and then these were finishing, and not, I can only get so many of these. So, we're gonna take the, all these bags and throw them in there. All right, loaded, ready to go. It's 2.30 Saturday. I just got down to Indiana, so we are really making progress. And I am getting ready to head to the Flat Rock area. Everything's been working really good since it's changed back tractors. So that was the whole problem. I don't really think it's the tractor hydraulics. I think it's the 1200 and the 700 monitors not getting along or something like that but I don't know they'll figure it out so we're gonna go ahead and run this year with this quad we got right here looking good or reason to put on new one to start with is get the high flow hydraulics to pick it up fast it does pick it up fast so I'm pretty sure it's not the hydraulics something's screwing up there Beautiful day, chance of rain. A little rain wouldn't hurt us now, probably. Half inch would be fine, quarter inch, but just soon wait about three or four days. At the end of the week, have beans and everything wrapped up. We're just gonna get down to corn maybe tomorrow or Monday if it don't rain. Once the rain, it'll rain. We'll see what happens. Long trip, 90 degrees, sunny. I didn't have talc, I forgot, I really forgot about it, but didn't have talc to put on my planter tracks. So I got back to Highway 41. Loaf, as we call him, Cole Davidson. I had smoke coming out the back. They are getting pretty hot, they needed some talc. So wasn't very full from John Deere, so they ran me a couple gallon, a couple buckets full of them. But once they got that hot, I couldn't get them cooled off. 
What I needed was some water to back in. God provides a water hole. So I'm backed in this water hole, letting them cool off a little bit. Here at Stevens' Ben site, up north of Route 50, nice setup. So I'm borrowing their mud puddles. It rained here last night a little bit. And it's cooled off a good 15 degrees and the sun's went in. So I think I'll be fine now the rest of the way. Because there's rain close to here, north of, northeast, northeast of here. Maybe getting close to getting where we're at. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look like that. I was hoping there was something in the seat, uh, the closing disc. Just stuck. But instead, you don't want to spin. Bearings out. Got done with Flat Rock, now I'm up by Hudsonville. This is, this is absolutely farthest away from home that we get. So I think Dave is gonna bring me up a new one. It's gonna take a while. There's a 112 acre field here. That I'm, uh, well my goal was to get this field done and then I'd be able to get done with corn pretty easy tomorrow except for that just that one little spot I left in Indiana. And it's, uh, it's pretty dark that way. It's supposed to be heading this way. Ah, see what happens. Get this off and uh, wait for a part. Well, this might be dumb to do. I don't know. I took the cap off, loosened it up just a little bit. I'm going to see if this works. Just until he gets here. I mean, it's a pickup. It's probably, I don't know, 45 minutes to get here. Worth a shot. All right. Let's see how she did. Yeah. Looks good. Where you at, Seed? There you are. Yeah. Stay away till tomorrow. Tomorrow night, we'll love to have you. So the beans couldn't get down the moisture, so we like some rain, but I'd really like to get done with corn first. So picky, especially when you see what other guys going through this spring. Well, the good news is it's it's still working. Bad news is it looks like. Uh, yeah, go get rain. Go get rain, dog. That's okay. It's been a great week. Well, what happened to my tracks going up flat rocks? I got off center, and the lug was hitting so hard that it actually started the rubber on fire. So when I got here, fire department arrived, and Orange did a red, but he's here. <laughs> so we found this spot in the field, a little too wet to plant, maybe. Actually, we got this spot going into the pond. So we backed in here to make sure we had all the rubber cooled off and no fire. So if you can barely see the tracks submerged, we should have no fire anymore. Uh, sprinkling. Not rained out yet, but we're getting, we're getting dirt close. This field's kind of got like a 40 that hangs off to the side. At least, at least got it done. Maybe. Well, you did your job. Got here in time for the rain. Yeah, David made it here to watch it sprinkle. I don't know. A little rainbow right there. Might be rained out. Might keep going. Don't know. One thing's for sure, we got a disc. Yeah, I need a hammer. It's thundering pretty good, but the direction it came from is pretty clear. I I think, I think I'll go. I think I'll keep going. I had to, uh, well, I had four bags back on the platform of the planter just in case I didn't have enough to do this because it's close. I think I'll have enough. Threw two in here because I don't want to get rained on anymore. I don't rain just a little bit. That's enough to do five acres, those two, so maybe we'll make her. I think we'll make her. Got her done. So it puts me in a pretty good position to be able to get done tomorrow. I just tried to do a live one of these, and so apologies to anybody that tried to get on there. I, uh, I, I don't know. I'm trying to use the hotspot off my iPad and kept losing connections. 
Anyways, I'd like to do one of those for you guys one time. Just gotta get her figured out first. Maybe in the fall. ready last day let's go well it's sunday morning normally a day we go to church eat dinner and stuff together this sunday is not going to be quite so pleasant for a while got my supplies my bobcat skid steer i should say play steel jacks stands tools and david has went after a new track h and r agripowers Chad Bollockman helped me out last night, found a new track at McLeansboro, sent me all the instructions, email how to get this sucker off of here and back on and all that good stuff. I expect it to be quite a chore, but I think we'll be able to do it. David will get the track, come up here and help me. I think we'll be all right to get this track replaced. Maybe, oh, probably three, four hours we'll have her going. First thing I do is get it jacked up. I had two 20 ton jacks, one of them was no good. Got it jacked up with that good 20 ton and that little jack, four jack out of my pickup. Between the two of them, I got it. That 20 ton needs rebuilt. All right, got the weight all off of it after some time. Burned a plate of steel to jack on. Then I had to take, come along Pull these two apart, open a bleed valve up there, pull the cylinder back right here to get the track loose, okay? Then you gotta take your outside bogies there, right little drive view, that piece there, off of here. Now I'm gonna go up, hopefully I can just put my forks under here, pull this track right off. It's still gonna be dragging on the ground, of course. So maybe I ought to go under. Yeah, I'll try it under it first, see what happens. Back in my skid steer. Lifesaver for a lot of things. What I'll do now, I'll wrap a little chain around the track at the top. So I'll kind of pull on it as I lift. See what happens. I don't think this is working too good. I gotta do more investigating. That feels done. Two left. One of them left's a big one though. But my... All right, trying to get the track on. Trying to get the back bogey, but that ain't gonna be near back far enough, right? All right, I think you had the best idea to tell you. We're gonna have to let it down. I you just need to get out. Maybe they were having try to lift and push this way. You think? Well, uh, all right, hang on. Uh, if it gets under the bottom of it, it'll kind of it'll give you a little bit more on that top back side. You want to try it there? Bottom. This is all in the operator's skid steer. If it don't just fall on, it's his fault. George is running the skid steer. Hold, hold. Oh, oh maybe the outside. That might well, we may go here. Try that one? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. What? I need to let it down and get out of there. Yeah, I think. Yeah, let it down a minute. Man, that track is on way
Bill Goodman's been, he's been helping us the whole time. Good help. <laughs> yep. Did you get his phone number? More showed up to last. Yeah, he lives right up here. Next breakdown, I'm just calling. Just pull her on over to the other. Yep. <laughs> we, about, we got her on. Fine. All we got to do now is get things lined up like it should be. And we're ready to plant beans. And there's a severe thunderstorm watch for St. Francis. Just to let you know. Well, get out of there. Okay, well. I'm not St. Francis. Oh. That's true. Got about 150 acres left to go. And uh, start to think we're not going to get done today. Never know. Might get lucky like yesterday. Well, yeah, it's starting to come down a little bit. It's not rained out yet, but one problem I got is I had a buddy come pick me up. Hey, Ross, if you see this. Help me move my truck around, and it's uh, it's right down there, and I got some handbags in the back of it. That's just for finishing up, and uh, yeah, right behind Rural, not too far from Rural King though. So I think I better go buy a tarp for it because it's on that. And by the time I get back, I'll probably know whether I'll be able to keep going or not. Well, no time for a tarp. I'm heading up the shed. Just gonna get pulled in there. That corn likes it. Want to rain? Just went a little later. So picky. I know. Well, it's now 4:50 in the afternoon. It's been all day. We got the track on. It's a saw, but we can't get it lined up right. We really need another track. The other one, the lugs are damaged. It's raining now. So. 451, almost 5 o'clock on a Sunday evening. Can't get it lined up. Rained out anyway. Going home. Get her fixed tomorrow. My survival case coming. They got more of those tracks in Indy. Maybe just get another one, get them both on there new and be in good shape. And so, been a hard day, but sun will come up tomorrow. And in 100 years, nobody will know the difference. Well, we're gonna go out on a limb and say we're done for today. Didn't get corn done, but we got close. Be an easy day, except for just that dab I left in Indiana, which you know I'll get sometime, I think, or I won't. Uh, I heard Dad did get his track on, but uh, it's on. But now they won't straighten. He's, uh, I feel sorry for him. He's had a heck of a spring, whereas I've had a relatively good one. Just a few uh, normal wear stuff, but. Man, it's really coming down. Yeah, we're not gonna, yeah, we're done. Yeah. Well, see you next week, hopefully for the end of corn planting there. Thanks for watching. See you next week, you want driver's merch? You should know where to get it by now. See ya. Yeah, it looks like it's a good thing I got that tarp. Of course, maybe I wouldn't have got rained on as much if I just went straight home. <laughs>